Hello, this is Gary Marr. This screencast is for my CS150AB Summer 17 online students. Now, this is part two of a video series. The first one was pseudocode. This one is written in Python. And the reason I'm using Python here is it's important that we, of course, well, validate our logic that it works. And also that you can see this thing executing as it moves line by line. Now, I don't have a debugger on this one. And if I put in a Thony or a Wingware 101, which you have links to, either at the, the bottom of the module on Python or in the resources page. But that would let me walk through it line by line. What I'm going to do with you guys is walk through it line by line. Then I'll execute the program to show you how it would work once uh, it was executed. If remember, in the pseudocode, I had a class defined first. The same is happening here. I've got three instance variables. I've got one um, method. I've got sets and gets for at least two of the instance variables. Now balance, the idea is it's going to be not accessible by anybody because it's only going to be calculated by and used by Kerbal. So I don't want anybody setting the balance. I want that always to be calculated. I want control over that. This uh, particular um, class, since it's mine to be used, I don't want anybody messing with it and giving a false balance or one that isn't correct. So I'm going to make it calculate it inside this code. My sets and gets are there. The actual Python program is just this little bit of code here. Now, the class is on top of it because I chose to put it there. I could leave it out, and it could have been in a separate file, but I'd like to have them all together. Again, I'm going to instantiate a version of checkbook called CB. There's my call to set, about, set deposits of value of 100. There's my call to set deposits again, taking whatever is in there and adding 100 to it. My check, so my current balance, if this is working correctly, should be 100. Now... I'm running this from Notepad, which gives me limited um, ability to look at the variables and inspect it. I would suggest you uh, follow my tutorial on Thony's debugger if you're interested in how Python works. But again, it should be just an option for this course. There is the program running. You can see the banking summary printed as it should. My deposits are 100. My checks are, or excuse me, 200. My checks are 100. My balance is 100. It is working as designed. This is the Python version of the pseudocode that I showed you earlier as checkbook1.txt. If you have any questions, please let me know.